Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to make dynamic titles in Power BI. Now, Power BI visuals have default titles and then you can also type anything you want there. But what if you want to make a title that reads more uh, interesting like sales 2010 to 2018 up by 16% or something like that. How would you go and do that? That's what we're going to see now in this video. Over to Power BI. So here is our sample Power BI report. This is something that we discussed in the previous video as well, where I talked about how you can add labels for the last point alone so we are going to use the same example and continue the discussion but this time talk about how to make the dynamic titles let's just make a regular chart for now we will um, make a line chart of the population trend so i'll just add a line here uh, put my fields from date into the axis and then um, you will see the total population as a value. Okay, any minute now, it'll come up and uh, I'm gonna select this chart. We will drill down so that we could actually see the population trend, right? So Obviously, Power BI would create a title like total population by year and quarter. And you all know that if you go to the chart title or uh, title option here, you can type anything. But there are these three dots here using which you can also apply conditional formatting. And you might be thinking, hey, what is conditional formatting in this sense? This is a kind of a misnomer. It's actually a measure that can be linked to the title. So what you have to do is you have to first create a chart title. I have got a chart title here. Uh, it will only work for text measures. So we want to say something like population trend 2008 to 2018. And then uh, we want to display the growth percentage. So you would construct such a measure uh, using both plain text values and then concatenating with uh, some sort of a measure that, that does something for us. I'll show you quickly what that measure would read by default. I can add a card visual, hopefully. Oops, uh, I didn't mean to change this to card visual. Um, I'll click and then add a card visual so we can see uh, the chart title. So this is what it reads, uh, population trend 2018 plus 15%. That's what my measure is. So once you have such a measure, you can select the chart and then you can go to this little paint roller thingy title and three dots, conditional formatting. And you can apply a condition based on the field value. The field that will be used to generate the title is my measure. It will give you a search option here. We will simply type chart uh, um, title. As I said, you can only set up a measure that generates a text value. Only then it will accept. Um, you can't uh, really select anything else there. So this is now having that title that is dynamic. It is dynamic in the sense that it depends on the underlying values here and what is that measure calculated within that context. So I can have one chart that shows this information and this is a title so I can apply all the formatting here as well. I can say this should be 16 points um, aligned in the middle and it needs to have, uh, I don't know, maybe a background color of green and whatnot and that would all be applied. It's not readable, so I'm going to make the font color as well change. My Power BI is a little slow today. I think it's because I'm doing screen recording and webcam recording while doing this. So this is how that would look. But if I copy this uh, and then paste it over, 
I get another chart and in this chart if I add a context for example in this we could add um, a age group based filtering like age group is only under 30s so that would show me a different percentage because for this context it's plus 32 percentage so that's how this title works uh, this is my preferred way of having a dynamic title in power bi because uh, it allows me to not worry about the context anymore i can just write the measure and then just link it to my chart and it will automatically change based on what goes where another technique that normally people use is to make a title through the card visual this is also something that you could try uh, it can be fun and interesting as well uh, what we could do is uh, i'll add a page here we will we'll copy one of these visuals so let's see if it can be copied across pages um, copy just, uh, so here is the visual and then um, I didn't think it'll actually copy to the next page the same settings and everything but that's cool um, in the here in this visual we can uh, delete the title and then we can generate our own title right we could write a measure that gives me the title for example uh, i could uh, i could use the chart title but because this is a context of uh, um, the 30 to under 30s you know we need to actually generate that thing so i'll, I'll write a new measure just to show you a uh, chart title with card you might be thinking hey why not use that versus card the card has a little more flexibility and the ability to move it around and, and uh, place it inside or or style it in a different way so that's why you may want to consider using card versus the default conditional formatting option so chart title uh, v2 uh, for card equal to and then what we want is we want to for example say population trend 2008 to 2018 right and then we want to say far and then that selected value of uh, selected value of uh, my age group right that would say population trend 2018 for and then under 30s or something like that so we will stick this measure and then we can now add this as a card eventually once that measure is there we can go and uh, put that there i'll come up with a card and now unfortunately here you might think hey why is it not showing that that's because this chart has that filter context whereas that card doesn't have that filter context so this approach is not technically useful for visual level filters but if i delete this right and then then i add that as a slicer age group So now I can select this and both of them will be filtered in that sense. Uh, so I could say uh, population trend for one children and then that will come up there. Or three under 50s and then that will come up there. right? So because it's a card visual, you don't need this extra category labels or anything. You can turn them off. Uh, and then you can also apply additional formatting like for example uh, make this uh, not so big like maybe 17 points and then alignment and, and whatnot 
so this is how you can apply dynamic titles in your power bi visuals i hope you found this uh, interesting and useful uh, i encourage you to play with these features in power bi and uh, give them a go and please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments box below thank you bye, -bye.